eat healthy in the new year, beware some foods that seem smart are actually high in calories and other diet damaging ingredients. Rhiannon spoke with Fitness Magazine and a nutrition educator to get the truth behind these food fakers. Author and nutritionist Dee McCaffrey knows a thing or two about food. You wouldn't know by looking at her now, but Dee lost 100 pounds and has kept it off for 17 years. I started gaining weight when I was nine. Wow. And I kept putting it on all through my teenage years, and by the time I was 18, I was obese. As her size grew, Dee made drastic changes to her diet and lost the weight. Dee was inspired to go back to school and study nutrition so she could help others. She took us shopping to show us foods that could be killing our diet. First up, diet soda. D, one of my favorite things to drink is Diet Dr. Pepper. I have one almost every single day. But you say this may not be good for my diet. No, there's something very not good about for your diet about diet sodas, and that is the artificial sweeteners that are in them. And also they're loaded with sodium. Sodium leads to hypertension, which is mm. high blood pressure. And if that's not enough to curb that diet fix, Fitness Magazine says diet may have less calories than regular soda, but it may not help you lose any weight. And there have been some studies that have shown that people who do drink a lot of diet soda may actually gain weight, in part because they think that the artificial sweeteners in soda could be leading you to crave real sugar. Ground turkey is our next food faker. From turkey bacon to turkey sausage, it seems like a healthy alternative to ground beef, but not so fast you definitely need to check the label. For instance, these um, pre-made turkey burgers, they're called ground turkey burgers. If we looked at the back, which is the where we have the grams of fat, you wow. see that we have a high amount of fat. 17 grams of fat. 17 grams of fat in one patty. What you're looking for is an extra lean ground turkey where they don't use the skin to grind it up with. Oftentimes the skin is used in the other kind of ground turkey. There's only one gram of oh, fat wow. in a serving. So a person would be better off making their own turkey burgers out of this lean turkey rather than buying the pre-made ones. If you're eating more salads in the new year, good for you. If you had to choose which one of these was the best for your diet, you'd probably be surprised which one actually was because I know I would automatically choose this one. Fat-free seems like a safe bet. But guess again. We need fat to absorb the, the vitamins and the minerals that are in our salads. So you're not even going to get any health benefits you by get, choosing the fat-free dressing. Exactly. No matter what brand it is. No matter what brand it is. Dee's favorite is actually the one with the most fat. There's no sugar in it. Absolutely okay. none. So you don't have to worry about gaining weight. One of the things I think people don't realize is that sugar turns to fat in the body. So a fat-free dressing with a lot of sugar in it doesn't do anybody any good. The next calorie culprit is trail mix. Nuts are a very healthy snack, but some of the other ingredients are not. But you have to be careful because you have to look at what's in that trail mix. A lot of times there's added sugar, there's added oils. That's what makes it taste good. <laughs> that's what makes it taste good, but it packs on the calories and it lowers the nutritional value of it. Dee says you're better off making your own so that you can control what's inside. And last, Dee took us to one of our favorite aisles. We've all heard about the great health benefits of yogurt, but there are big differences in those tiny containers. But let's look and see how much okay. sugar is in this flavored yogurt. Okay. Somewhere around 20 or 30 grams. Oh my gosh. You can get in a range of 20 to 30 grams wow. of sugar in a flavored yogurt. Plus the other thing that you might not be aware of is that flavored yogurts have much less protein in them than just a plain yogurt. Like okay, that. like this so. plain yogurt. And this is a Greek yogurt, which you say is actually even better than normal yogurt. Greek yogurt is uh, more strained, so there's less water in it, which gives it a higher protein profile. In fact, Greek yogurt is one of Dee's favorite things to eat. When she was overweight, her favorite was ice cream. Now she substitutes Greek yogurt or makes her own ice cream at home. In her new book, Plan D, The Anti-Diet, Dee encourages banning most processed foods from your diet. I've just learned to convert. Everything that I used to eat, now I've made it healthier. And look how wonderful she looks now. 17 years later, 100 pounds lighter. You look great. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, Fitness Magazine says another food faker is sushi. A lot of them are stuffed with high-calorie ingredients like cream cheese, so stick with the basics and skip the ones with the creamy sauces. You can find out more in Fitness Magazine, which is in stores now.